okay everyone welcome back okay and uh, so far we discussed uh, about various factors in this chapter consumer behavior okay the consumer behavior the last topic what we discussed is consumers uh, behavior will change that related with the price of the commodities price of the commodities if the price of the commodities increasing the quantity utilizing or quantity purchasing will decrease so what type of relation is that is that a direct relation or inverse relation and now price increasing commodity utilizing is decreasing okay is that a direct relation or inverse relation can you hear me anna connectivity issue with anna i'm thinking karthik you got the question karthik second repeat question okay price of the commodities are increasing or commodity is increasing at the same time quantity purchasing is decreasing what type of relation is that direct or inverse direct direct relation hmm? is that correct any other answers are there inverse relation of course inverse is karthik so both increasing means we can say it's directly related okay one increasing the same other is decreasing is going to be inverse relation inverse relation okay so that's what we are discussing here just uh, coming to your textbook okay in consumer behavior we discussed almost all the we are here okay demand curve of an individual for a commodity x so discussing about only one particular commodity so that one particular commodity is price increase why am i discussing about the uh, uh, speciality of that particular commodity so here it is the price of the commodity is increasing definitely you can see here the quantity purchase is decreasing okay so here it is can you see mr sir here figure 2.2 present hypothetical demand curve of an individual for commodity x at its different prices quantity is measured along the horizontal axis and price is measured on the vertical axis the down shows the lower the prices the individual is willing to buy more of commodity x okay the price of the commodity is decreasing we are willing to purchase that in more quantities more quantities okay uh, at other prices she is willing to buy less of commodity x okay here she means the consumer so price increasing the consumer is purchasing less quantities of that particular commodity x therefore there is a negative relationship between price of a commodity and uh, quantity demanded which is roughly as Law of demand. It will be law of demand. Write the question. Law of demand. Law of uh, demand. So these are uh, basic concepts in economics. Basic concepts in economics. So we already studied that. Uh, what are the factors of production? So leading to produce. Okay, the factors that leading to produce a particular product. Now we are discussing about uh, demand, supply, and the pricing of different uh, commodities related with uh, a consumer's behavior, a behavior or individual consumer's uh, desires or demands. Okay, so this is called to be law of demand, price increasing. Okay, demand for the commodity will decrease. Okay, so an explanation for a downward sloping demand curve resets, sorry, rests on the notion of diminishing marginal utility. Okay, so we can connect with that diminishing marginal utility. So that is connected with the price too. Right. The law of diminishing marginal utility states that each successive unit of a commodity provide lower marginal utility. So continuously we are consuming the same product one by one. The marginal utility of that product is reducing. Okay. Therefore, the individual will not be willing to pay as much for the additional unit. So we are not ready to pay the 
minimum what we pay for the first unit. Okay. Example, ice cream purchase for 40 units provided as a maximum satisfaction. And ice cream, same ice cream for 40 units, that may not give the satisfaction like the first unit. But we are paying this. Okay. But our willingness to pay 40 rupees is reducing. Our mindset is changing there. Coming to the third one, again, we are purchasing that for 40 rupees only, right? Okay. But uh, we need to pay for that again, that is uh, reducing. Okay, <clears throat> that's a hypothetical idea. At the price of rupees 40 per unit X, individual demand for X was 5 units. Okay, the 60 unit of the commodity X will be worth less than the 60 unit. The individual will be willing to buy the 60 unit only when the price is low 40. Okay, so we know that. The, we are paying same amount for first unit, second unit, third unit, and fourth unit. This is we are paying. But, uh, the satisfaction level of these commodities are different. Okay. <coughs> okay. The first commodity will Can you hear me? Hello? Sir. Okay. So can I do it? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> the satisfaction level of the commodities are different. The first two one giving maximum. The second one, the satisfaction level is decreasing. Going to the third unit again, it will decreasing. Okay, so we are purchasing first unit, second unit, and third unit for 50 rupees. Okay, fourth unit, sorry, 40 rupees. Fourth unit also, 40 rupees. Fifth unit also, 40 rupees. Okay, again, it will go into negative. Again, we are not ready to purchase that because the satisfaction is very less or too less it is. Okay, so we are not willing to pay the pay for the product. Okay, or we are not ready to purchase that for 40 rupees. And the consumer will wait for what he will wait or for what he she will wait. When the price decreasing, then only again the consumer will purchase the product. Okay. Understanding or not? Okay. Again, the consumer will wait for a price fluctuation. He or she will wait. Okay. Again, this uh, product is not going to give any more satisfaction, but we would like to purchase it. Okay. So we will wait for a uh, a change in the price when the price decreases again we will purchase it so keep that in your mind here at a price rupees 40 i'm improving or increasing the size of the screen here i mean the letters here rupees 40 per unit x here x is a commodity x is a commodity so individuals demand for x was five units only five units only okay so he or she may not go for the 60 unit at the same price okay if he or she want to purchase the 60 unit the price of the commodity want to reduce then only the consumer will purchase it so the simple logic simple consumer logic it is okay that is connected with the consumer behavior so this all connect the cardinal utility cardinal utility of uh, products there that related with the, the satisfaction in units satisfaction of a particular commodity in units okay. so all you want to know this uh, economics giving this idea it's imaginary concept only in a real life it is difficult to provide the value <coughs> or a satisfaction level of any product in units okay so we already studied that the drawings of a cardinal utility analysis cardinal utility analysis okay so we uh, discussed up to here so in this portion we discussed about uh, what is cardinal utility how can we assume the values in units i mean utilities in the units okay then what do we mean by total utility total utility so in addition of each product each commodity okay so one two three i mean to you one to you two plus two three plus two you four like that it is increasing the total value of a uh, total utility of that's from the commodity to the nth number of a uh, commodity it's called a total unit utility so marginal utility we know that's a difference right okay difference of total unity total utility of the first commodity to the difference sorry the value of the 
second commodity. The difference between the first and the second commodity is basically we know that it's the marginal utility, marginal utility. Okay, and we discussed about uh, the relation with price, price and uh, uh, demand for the commodity, demand for the commodity. And here it is the uh, curve here. You can see here this could be D carfora individual, individual consumer related with what is called X particular commodity. Okay, so the price increasing, the commodity is a quantity decreasing, quantity decreasing. Again, the consumer, if she or she he or she purchase the product, uh, they will wait to decrease the price of the commodity, decrease the price of the commodity. So that's going to be cardinal utility analysis, cardinal utility analysis. So we studied about uh, uh, two diagrams here. You can see here, this is the diagram for a marginal utility. So total utility is increasing, but the marginal utility is uh, decreasing. The satisfaction level of the, satisfaction level of the product is uh, increasing here, okay. So that's going to be law of diminishing, diminishing marginal utility. Law of diminishing marginal utility. Okay. Now we want to connect all these things with one particular thing is called the budget. Okay, budget of a customer budget. So what do you know about the budget? Budget ideas are there. Budget. What is budget? So that's, can anyone speak about that? It is a fixed amount which the consumer agrees to pay for the thing. Not exactly this idea. So simply speaking, so uh, we are planning what to purchase. Okay, related with our income, related with our uh, income. So every month, if you are asking your parents, okay, they will calculate their income and expenditure for various products, various uh, products related with uh, grocery items, transportation, electricity, uh, gas, water bills, education bills, medical expenses, loans, like that various things are there. Okay, for all these particular things, we want to spend money. We want to spend money, right or not? So. Yes or no, clear or not? Now your turn it is. You want to discuss with your parents related with the financial aspects of your family, how they are earning income, how they are spending that, uh, just a second assignment for you. Okay. What is that? Uh, ask your parents, what is the budget of the family for one month? Okay. And how they are spending money for uh, different needs, different uh, needs. Then you come to know that the struggle of your parents, how they are maintaining the family, something like that. Okay. So most of the parents are not struggling, right? Let it, but this is the period. We know that uh, number of economic crises are the crisis, economic crisis existing in the society. Number of people, they lost job. Their production is not going on well. Business is dull. Like then various problems are there. You just discuss with your parents. Okay. Before this epidemic, what kind of, or uh, what was their expenditure? What was the budget and all? And after the epidemic, on the period of this epidemic, uh, how that changed, the budget changed, or expenditure changed, income changed. Just ask to your parent, then you will get a clear picture about that. So you are the people, you are the part of the family, you also want to understand the situations, understand how they are earning, how they are spending money. Okay, that's kind of things you want to discuss. So that will give them a relief. Okay, they will think that, okay, my son or my daughter is thinking of the family. Okay, but actually it's not. Okay, we know that, right? We are not thinking about that. We are not worried about the family, right? Okay, you should be. Okay, I simply told that. Okay, let it, I take it back. Okay, think uh, how they are spending. So that is something related with the budget. Our income, how we are going to spend. So we have a plan always. We have a plan. Okay, this much money for education. This much money for medical expenses. Consist this much money for transportation, this much money for communication. In that we are dividing the total income in various categories or uh, various sectors related with the price of that particular product, price of the particular uh, products. Okay, so here it is. I mean, goods or services. For services also, we want to pay money, right? So that's called the budget. Example, our is 1000 rupees, but we are calculating all expenses. At coming to 12,000, what kind of budget is that? What kind of budget is that? Is that the income is enough to meet all the needs? Income is 10,000. Okay. After calculation, we came to know that we recorded 12,000 rupees to meet all the expenses. 
what can do budget is that the idea is clear or not is the idea clear or not ah uh, income is a uh, 10000 okay but uh, to meet the expenses or all the necessary needs okay we want to per, uh, spend rupees 12000 rupees what kind of budget it will be sir deficit budget less? deficit budget who told that answer abarna that abarna yeah. okay correct answer correct answer abarna very good it is going to be deficit deficit okay that time we required a credit that time we required a credit or we want to borrow money from friends or family relatives or uh, want to borrow money from the banks or something like that right or not so that's going to be deficit budget deficit budget okay the same time it is 10000 but after calculating all expenses in one month we came to know that you only want to spend 7 rupees okay what type of budget is that an idea about that can you hear me surplus Hello? budget surplus budget okay again ashurya uh, that is correct answer is going to be surplus budget so the balanced money we can deposit that in bank as savings or we can spend it to or spend for purchasing some valuable products or something like that okay valuable products in the sense in the future its value will increase as kind of products as a deposit we can do we can purchase it okay so that's going to be budget right clear so basically we heard this word budget related with the uh, country's budget country's uh, budget okay every year the government will announce the finance minister will announce the budget of one particular year okay related with the taxes Okay, price of different commodities. Okay, like that. So you don't want to think about that kind of things. That is with the macroeconomics, right? So here we want to discuss about your family. Okay, discuss about that. Discuss with your parents. You will come to know that easily. What do you mean, consumer's budget? Consumer's a budget. So idea is clear. I am thinking. Okay, so uh, let's uh, have a discussion in this text from the textbook. Uh, let us consider. So it is page number fifteen, I think. 2.2 the consumer budget consumer budget so our order uh, theory is still pending there after completing this i will go there then only very easily you are able to understand that so we are discussing here let us consider a consumer who has only fixed amount of money that is income fixed amount of money okay so basically income or fixed amount of money is related with the salaried employees salaried employees in business and enterprises the income will change okay to spend or uh, to two goods so here we are discussing a bundle of goods only two goods only the price of the goods are given in the market the consumer cannot buy any and every combination of the two goods that she may want to consume so within the budget uh, he or she is able to purchase a uh, different number of the products only two goods are there so in the first case we discussed about the two one bundle there okay x and x2 X one and X two bananas and mangoes bananas and mangoes okay one banana two mangoes okay for example income is twenty rupees okay income is a twenty rupees is the income right on somewhere twenty rupees is the income okay two variables are the two things are there in the bundle X one and X two X one is a banana X one banana X two is a mango the price of the banana is five rupees the price of the mango is a ten rupees. Okay, so income is a twenty rupees. Just tell me some combination. Uh, how much we are able to spend it to purchase this product? Different combinations are there, right? Can anyone? Sir, uh, please unmute and speak. Income is just twenty rupees only. Okay, so two products are there for us. One is mango, other is banana. Price of banana is five, and price of mango is ten. How many mangoes we can purchase, and how many bananas we can purchase? Give us the combination. Two bananas and one mango. How many bananas? Two. Two bananas and one, one mango. mango. Okay, so five plus five plus ten, twenty. Correct. So equal to the income. Again, another combination. Two mangoes. Ah, uh, two mangoes, zero banana, zero two. Zero to zero mangoes, two bananas. Any other combination? Four Any other combinations are possible there. Four bananas. Four bananas. Four bananas. Four bananas and zero mango. Zero mango. These are the possible. Uh, what we can say? A possible combination. Possible combination with the twenty rupees. One more combination is there. What is that? One more combination. Zero zero right. 
zero, zero. So that 20 rupees we can save, right? Let it, but it is necessary food item. So we want to purchase anyway. Okay, so that's it. So here, here, let us consider a consumer who has a fixed amount of money income to spend on goods. The prices of goods are given in the market. The consumer cannot buy and uh, any and every combination of the two goods that she may want to consume. The consumption bundles that are available to the consumer depend on the prices of the two goods and the income of the consumer. Okay, so want to keep that in your mind. The consumption bundle is related with the price of the commodity and income of the consumer. Income of the consumer. In this case, income is 20 rupees only, but uh, uh, related with the price fluctu fluctuation, the price of banana that decreased to 1 rupee and the price of uh, mango that also decreased to two rupees and what will happen here what will happen here he may more of both ah, items. the consumer can purchase uh, okay or uh, many i mean they can be able to increase the number of items number of uh, item i mean item not uh, basically the number of the particular commodity okay quantity they can increase that's all price decreasing they can uh, increase but income is not changing here income is not uh, changing in the same case income increasing that period also they are able to able to increase the purchase okay income reducing or decreasing but the price of the commodity remain constant number of commodity that purchasing is a uh, reduce it will reduce okay so the this is a common idea symbols uh, sense it is okay you don't want to use the sixth or seventh sense to understand these ideas they're basically a common sense enough okay common sense enough are you there thinking something seriously there aditya are you there yes i was just discussing when i am looking the uh, finance minister of india what kind of measure i will take to improve the life of the people in the country okay we want to you uh, have a that's going to be as in macroeconomics at the time we will discuss that kind of things there okay so now it is this simple understanding it is simple understanding it's so that's connected with the price of the commodity and income that's what consumer budget consumer budget okay so given her fixed income and the price of two goods the consumer can afford to buy only those bundles which cost her less than or equal to her income so always the consumer is able to purchase the product by using less than of her income or his income and the same time uh, equal to his or her income no anyway not more than that anyway not a more than that okay so here you can see that budget set and budget line budget set and a budget line budget line okay so here you can see a formula here 2.1 it is a p1 x1 plus p2 x2 okay that is a less or lesser than or equal to m m is income here m is a income so p is price of the commodity x is the quantity of the commodity Okay, P is a price, X means the quantity of the commodity, and M is a income. M is income. Okay. So write down those notations here. Suppose the income of the consumer is M and the prices of bananas and mangoes are P1 and P2. Here is price. Okay. So now also we are using only the mango and banana to discuss here. Okay. Mangoes and bananas. Okay. If the consumer want to buy X1 quantities of bananas, uh, she will have to spend a P1 X1. P multiply with the X1. Okay. So keep that in your mind. Okay. So relative to the amount of money. Similarly, if the consumer want to buy X2 quantities of mangoes, she will have to spend a P2 X2. Okay, P2 multiplied by X2, amount of money. Therefore, if the consumer want to buy the bundle consisting of X1 quantities of bananas and X2 quantities of mangoes, she will have to spend P1 X1 plus P2 X2. Okay, P1 X1 plus uh, P2 X2. Okay, listen carefully. I am unable to write. That's what I am showing this in the uh, textbook. Just underline that properly. Do you know the meaning of these notations now, right? P1, I mean P2, P1 and P2. Here one, that is a banana. Two is a mango. Okay. One is banana, two is a mango. That's what P1 and P2, X1 and X2 is the price of the uh, bananas and a mango. Okay. Clear? So if you want to purchase two products from the bundle, it should be like this P1, X1 plus a P2, X2. Okay. Amount of money. The price of the goods in the income of the consumer, she can choose any bundle, any bundle. Now we discussed that, any bundle. Okay. Now maybe 0, 0, 2, 1. Uh, one, uh, four, sorry, one, 
to like that different combinations are there she can choose any bundle as long it cost less than or equal to the income of income she has in other words the consumer can buy the bundle x1 x2 such that p1 multiplied by x1 plus p2 multiplied by x2 is less than or equal to the income less than or equal to the income m okay px x1 plus p2 x2 less than or equal to m less than or equal to is that here clear or not? Anyway, this sign we are unable to change here. It cannot be greater than, right? If it is converting into greater than, means we want to borrow money. We want to borrow money to meet the expense. Okay. So in a normal case, it is always less than or equal to the income. The commodity, what we are purchasing is equal to our income or it is less than our income. Okay. This inequality, so the inequality is called the consumer budget constraint. Okay, so always we are able to find the inequality between the two products. Equally, we are unable to purchase, right or not? It's called what a budget constraint, budget constraint. So as per our income, we are unable to purchase uh, the same quantity of all the products. Okay, because of the price fluctuation or variation in the price. Okay, what will happen there? Sometime we want to give up purchase of some particular products okay the set of bundles available to the consumer is called the budget set okay two questions i provided now one is budget constraint other is a budget set budget set okay budget constraint and a budget set first of all the in the inequality it is called the consumer's budget constraint so we are unable to purchase a equal quantity of both these products like bananas and mangoes so that is going to be the budget constraint and related with our income, what set of products we are choosing to purchase, that is basically called the budget set, budget set, because we are able to purchase that related with uh, or equal to or less than our uh, income. The budget set is the, those collection of all bundles that the consumer can buy with the higher income at the prevailing marketing places. Okay, so here you can see an example here, right? For example, a consumer who has 20 rupees and suppose both the goods are paid uh, priced at five and are available in units. Okay, so we are unable to divide it. Okay, the bundles that this consumer can afford to buy are in game is 20. Okay, so they can purchase the, the price of both commodities only. Pay only zero, 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 001. So zero, 01 means uh, 15 rupees is balance. Zero, 02 means uh, 10 rupees is balanced. Zero, 04 means uh, nothing is balanced right one zero 15 balance one one ten balance one two five balance one three no balance two zero ten balance two one five balance i mean rupees five balance right are you able to understand the idea yes or no okay here combination three zero so three into five fifteen balance five tell me who is this Okay, anyway, all these bundles, uh, sometimes it is equal to the, equal to 20 rupees, okay, or sometimes it is less than 20 rupees, less than a 20, more than 20, no combination is going more than 20. So this is all example for a budget set, budget set. The fluctuation of its example for a budget constraint, budget constraint. Among these bundles, uh, 0, 4, one zero sorry one three two two three one and four zero cost exactly 20 exactly 20 equal to the income equal to the income and all of the bundles the consumer can afford to buy bundles like e3 impossible so it's a constraint cannot buy e3 because six into or multiply with the five means 30 so but budget is only 20 only we cannot buy 3 3 and cannot buy 4 5 and because they cost more than 20 at the prevailing prices your prevailing basis price is a 5 4 x and x1 and x2 so it is an he or she is unable to purchase speak i can see many of you okay because of network issue i'm thinking that okay you are experiencing rain in your locality no yes sir yes okay okay maybe connected issue is that adul anat any what happened anat 
Hungary? Yes, sir. no, sir. No. Okay, let it. So the discussion is over so far. Okay, what well, the many things we discussed here. One is uh, a cardinal analysis related with the price of the commodity and the quantity of the commodity what we are purchasing. Now you discuss about the budget. What is budget and what is budget line, budget constraint and uh, uh, what we can say bundle constraints. Okay, budget constraint and a set, a set problem. I mean, uh, bundle trouble. Okay. Here again, you can see that budget set, budget set. Okay, so we are going to see how it is depicted in a diagram. Okay, here, next page, page number 16. In both the goods are perfectly divisible. The consumer budget set would consist of all bundles x1, x2, such as such that x1 and x2 are any numbers greater than or equal to zero, and uh, price of first commodity multiply with the price of second commodity, first com sorry, quantity of the first commodity plus price of some second commodity multiply with the price of the second commodity equal to or less than the income. Okay. The budget set can be represented in a diagram as the figure 2.9, 2.9. Okay, so simply we will be uh, able to explain that with that budget line. Okay, so we can see that uh, uh, origin and uh, horizontal axis it is bananas and uh, vertical axis it is uh, mangoes. So both are not same, it is always uh, changing. So you can see that uh, downward sloping curve, downward uh, sloping curve, all bundles in the positive gap quadrant which are on or below the line and indicated in the budget set the equation for the line is already we know that p1 x1 plus p2 x2 is equal to income or m the line consists of all the bundles which cost exactly equal to m this line is called the budget line underline that all these examples for one question what do you mean by a budget line budget line Points below the budget line represent bundles which cost strictly less than M. So you can see the budget line. Any combination that coming under the budget line, we can say that some money is a balance. Okay. That is always less than the income, less than the income, less than this. We know that, we know that this is called the surplus budget surplus budget we are not spending the maximum amount to purchase the products okay uh, or not using the income to purchase the product it is always less than the income less than the income so here zero to m divided by price of second commodity p2 here m divided by income divided by the price of the first commodity so maximum this much we can spend maximum this many mangoes or this many bananas so we are uh, joining these two lines again many other combinations are there combinations are there that are all coming under line only under the line anyway i will show that in the board too okay then you can understand i want to show that okay so just understand the idea understand the idea here okay Okay, is this which clear or not? The budget line we will explain again one more time. Okay, what are the um, assignments that provided by, to you today? Tell me, Anila Mohanan, what are the two assignments? Anila, are you there? Yes, sir. Tell me, Anila, what are the two assignments today? Uh, price of uh, price of goods in a house. Mm, price of not all the goods in your house. I don't want that. Okay, price of the commodity that we are using regularly in our kitchen. I mean, grocery products, vegetables, okay, or uh, any other food items what you are purchasing and uh, consuming regularly. You have to find it out. Okay, minimum 20 25 items you should write there. Okay, 20 to 25. Okay, more than that also welcome, not less than that anyway. Okay, so minimum is fixed as 25. 
not 20 or something like that, 25. Minimum is a 25 products you should find and its price, present price. And don't write it two rupees, three rupees, something like that. I want the exact price of the commodities. Okay. And the next, next, what Karthi got the another assignment? Amal Raj, can you hear? Ah, Amal Raj is there. Okay, tell me, Karthik. Sir, to find uh, the change in income after economic situation. Mm -hmm. The income and expenditure before the epidemic and uh, during the period of epidemic. Okay, I want to ask if your parents and have a short discussion with them. Okay, so everyone should do that. Don't irritate your parents, okay? So don't irritate your parents anyway, okay? And uh, don't discuss this kind of things while you are... Uh, before the dining table too okay no such kind of uh, uh, arguments or something like that so when the parents are free you can go and ask and don't make any trouble there okay then don't say that that teacher told like this and that created numerous issues in the house or something like that don't do or don't uh, create such kind of situations anyway okay so this is the things what we want to discuss today and uh, i will upload the notes also and uh, the doubts are there means just to note down that when i'm coming to school i will uh, try to clarify that rectify that uh, uh, problems will rectify the rest too okay so because some limitations are there i am unable to use a board here okay is that clear Hello. yes sir okay guys thank you very much have a nice day thank you sir